This is a video on statistics, measures of central tendency, and together these get called by the name averages, but average actually can mean one of three things, mode, median, or mean. And these three things are measures of the middle of your data, but in slightly different ways. The mode is the most common piece of data. The median is the middle piece of data. And the mean is what we would traditionally call the average. And it can also get called X bar. So we're going to look now how to find each of these three things. We're going to start off with a list of numbers and we're going to call that our data set. So my data set here is 2132785 and each value in this data set is called a data point. Now clearly in this particular data set our data points are all jumbled up. They're not in the correct order so I must start by sorting that out first. Sometimes it's convenient to do this using a line plot. It's not compulsory to do this but it gives you an idea of what the data looks like and it can be useful. To draw my line plot I'm going to first of all have a quick glance at my numbers and see that 1 is my lowest and 8 is my highest. So I'm going to put those values along the bottom and then I'm going to organize my data by just reading my data set through and putting a dot above each value. So I've got two, one, three, two, seven, eight, five. If you prefer to just organize your data set in list form, that's fine too. Now that I've done that, it's easy to identify the mode. The mode is just the most common. In this case, the mode is 2. It's possible to have more than one mode if I've got a number of data points occurring the most. And it's also possible to have no mode if each piece of data, if each data point only occurs once. Now we're going to calculate the median. Now the median is the middle of your data. And here it's pretty easy to identify it visually. But sometimes if you have a very big data set, it can be difficult to find the middle. So there's a little trick that we can use to figure out the location of the median. The Median is located at n plus 1 over 2. n is the number of data points. So in this case, n is equal to 7. So here, n plus 1 over 2 is 7 plus 1 over 2, which is 4. But 4 isn't the answer. 4 is just the position of the median. So what we really mean by 4 here is that it's the fourth piece of data or the fourth data point. And I can easily identify this from my line plot or my list. One, two, three, four. That's the fourth value, so that's the median. Oh, that's my mistake. Oops. Median equals three. Okay, next, so we want to calculate the mean. So the mean, like I said, is called x bar, and it has a formula which is summation x over n. Now, we've already said that n is the number of data points. So that's just the number of pieces of data. Summation x is what you get when you add up all your data points. When I'm laying out my calculation here, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to start off by writing down summation x. And I'll get that by simply adding up 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 5 and 7 and 8. And in this case, that comes out as 28. The n in this case we've already said is 7 and to calculate my mean I'm simply going to divide summation x by n and in this case that's 4 and this is just a nice concise way of laying out that. Let's do a second example for calculating those three averages. This time my data set is 583, 582, 6, 11. Again don't forget I have to order it first of all. And again, you can do that ordering by using a line plot or just by writing it out as a list. And here's my ordered, uh, my ordered data set. And now I want to calculate the mode, the median and the mean. So the mode, first of all, is the most frequently occurring piece of data. Well, this time I actually have two of those. I've got five occurring twice and eight occurring twice. So my modes are five and eight. There are two of them. Next, I want to calculate median. So median is the middle piece of data. So again, we're going to use n plus 1 over 2 to figure out where that is. n is just the number of data points, 2, 4, 6, 8. n in this case is 8. 
So I'm going to calculate 8 plus 1 over 2, which is 4.5. Now, that means I'm looking for the 4.5th data point, but that sounds a bit silly. There isn't a 4.5th data point. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to find the fourth data point and the next one up, the fifth data point, and then I'm going to average the two of those. So when I go to my data set, one, two, three, four, my fourth data point is five, my fifth data point is six, and so my median is going to be five plus six over two, which is 5.5. Finally, I want to calculate the mean. Whenever there's a formula, it's a good plan to make a note of it. Summation x over n. Don't forget I'm going to lay it out like this. Summation x, n and x bar. Summation x is just adding up all my pieces of data. In this case, the data adds up to 48. And there are eight pieces of data. And so my mean is 48 divided by 8, which is just 6.